I'm doing this for my phone because it's easier to carry than the camera. But this is what we see when we walk into like the back entrance here. Hey James, you should have shown up. You should have shown up, James. I don't know why. Damn it, James. Okay. Next time. Next time. We'll see, see you next time. <laughs> Now it's Monday. Yeah. Yeah, Monday. No, oh, I don't really remember. Oh, this guy's gonna be pissed off at me because I'm slower than he is. <laughs> it's it's Monday. Um, we filmed a little a little bit at the convention. We filmed not enough. So filming while doing a booth and hanging out with awesome con fam is really hard. Yep. So what I'm what this video wait this is probably going on afterwards at the end. What this video probably was, <laughs> would have been, this is stupid, why am I even saying? And probably me have padding to have padding. Vlogging's hard. We're, we're gonna recap the con. Um, yeah, Lane had to run his booth, so I, I, we didn't really film. Uh, and I basically just roamed around and finally got to take it a convention on the cash. How dirty this river is, man. Crazy. It's not polluted at all. I lost my first phone there. We went tubing down at one time, and Lee was the freezer, and it's like, oh, I had like an old virgin pay-as-you-go yellow flip phone thing. Brutal. And we're like, ah, let's all go tubing after enjoying some lemonades and other, other and beverages. Beverages. So, yeah, we went to one spot, and we're like, oh, we'll go tubing down here. So I put my phone in the car and did all that. And it was, oh, this is kind of a bad spot, so let's, we'll go a little bit further up. So of course I'm back on my phone like a 16 year old girl and you know we leave and I thought oh well I put my phone away once so yeah long story short it's in the bottom of the Fraser River so if you ever find it um, it has its raining men as its ringtone. <laughs> it's a raining man. Hallelujah. It's just we keep doing this for four minutes. It's a Absolutely soaking wet! Okay, but in all seriousness, I, I'd say this Fun kid. is Mother Nature! She's a single woman, too! I'd say this convention. And she did what she had to do! I'd say this convention she was a roaring success. <laughs> Lane's first guesting session went incredibly well. Stupidly well. It was, yeah. We had like, there was a big VIP thing, and the people I met were awesome, and I'm gonna see some of them when I go down to Anime Expo last, next, last. Take two. I'm gonna see him when I go down to Anime, it, He's gonna see him when he goes to Anime Expo next I'm gonna month. see him when I go to Anime Expo in July. Ah, there we go, that was oh, so goddamn hard. Well, that'll be June. No, okay, well, the, all right, so it's June, like, we're, we head down June 30th, and there's like a pre-show thing. Oh, uh, okay. And then it's, yeah, June, like, or July 1st to 4th. So sorry, Canada, I'm gonna miss your birthday. I'm trying to think of like a very Canadian cosplay to bring down there. Captain Canuck. Captain Canuck sucks, man. I kind of want to do Don Cherry, <laughs> but I don't, A, I don't know how I do that with my face and head. And like, I could be loud. I could be Don Cherry. If you like, that's the, the comment two things below. Like, what should I do that's super Canadian that isn't Captain Canuck because, you know, I want to enjoy myself. We go further from there. Um, I didn't pee myself, and I actually won the Journeyman Cosplay Contest, which is pretty Yay! bad. So I get a VIP pass and a plaque and an autograph stuff for next year. So really, I'm coming back, whether I like it or not. We have VIP tickets for two, so we have figures out someone to bring. Wait, I have VIP tickets? Don't know. Oh crap. Uh, a bird. My bird. Also, I'm stuck in the Masters category now. Ha ha ha. You have to compete against me now. <laughs> and Ben. And Dana. <laughs> and who else? Who else is all in there? Alright, what other Masters do we know? Uh, me, me, Ben, uh, Dana. Kevin Hickman, that's Kevin uh, Hickman. Spartan, Spartan Longshot, so I have to compete against Longshot now. Yeah. Uh, Nicole from like Third Tales or something, I can't remember. Nerd, Nerd Punk, that's it. Nerd Punk cosplay. Oh, f uh, Hot Shot, all of that Mass Effect Andromeda group. Oh, uh, Juan? Uh, uh, and 
Twin Flame Fabrications? Yep. Uh, who else? <laughs> F masters people, Masters people. Uh, uh, May from Prince George. Um, I mean, obviously, like, all of the guests that were there, so, you know. F you, you could, in theory, have to compete against, like, Bill Duran. Oh, <laughs> no. Uh, no. Who, else, who else do we know? I mean, I mean, Bronson. I don't think he's ever competed, so he's a novice. Scrub Lord. Well, way to do novice. His work's good enough to go on the Masters. Yeah, no, no, he had novice. <laughs> this is undistracted driving at all. I mean, Lane's just I'm mostly. Not, I'm not using I like, the camcorder. I was like, Lane's just mostly shouting. I'm the yeah. one that's doing all the camera. And I shout all the Shouting is my natural being, so you know what? That's not that bad. Also, getting to follow him around as Gordon Ramsay was pretty fun. That was the most fun costume, man. I, uh, I've had a lot of fun ones. And I have ten official costumes. I'm still not overly happy with my Mr. Frizzle, but I did it. And, like, hey, everybody, don't, like, not every costume is going to be perfect in the way you want it to be. Just do it, and people are still going to enjoy it. Cosplay should be fun. Exactly. If you don't have any fun, you're doing it wrong. Okay, so we're at the Agent Forest right now, and Lane insists that this has one of the best smelling outhouses in the world. It did, no, one of the best smelling washrooms in the world. And that was like two years ago, so we came to see. Also, I really need to pee. I proclaim he's full of shit, and we're gonna do a double blind test because I also have to pee, so he's gonna go in. And I don't know which one it is because, you know, all the parking lot events change around, so who knows what the which one I used last time. I feel like it was this one. So I'm gonna do it first because I have to pee more. There's still snow on the ground? So. Hey, hey. Hey, you're wrecking the test. <laughs> Don't you wave at me. <laughs> He's in that one right there behind me, over my shoulder right now. Also, I'm a little worried by these. That's a sign that says caution bears in the area, so... If I get mauled to death by a bear, at least it's recorded for your enjoyment. Okay, so... Here he comes. I, I will say, I'll, I'll say it while you're in there. Okay. But they do have a thing. I'm up. All right. Here's the deal. It wasn't as good. It's still very good for an outhouse. Like, for an outhouse in the middle of a highway, very good. I don't know what he said, so I'm probably saying the same stuff. There's a bear in the eyes. <laughs> so I don't know if he's gonna get mauled to death by a bear. All right, it's not as, it is not as good as it was, but that's damn good for an outhouse. Once you get over the outhouse chemical smell, um, it smells like a pine forest, right? With a hint of fart. But well, like, sorry, that might have been me. And <laughs> like, ten out of ten would pee again. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I, I do it right now. So we should go drink a big gulp. Okay, run, away from the bear. <laughs> run away from the bear! Yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to put Mike on the spot here, he doesn't know this, but I kind of want to ask him... <laughs> I forgot. I remembered now. So Mike, put camera on yourself, and then back to me. Describe ju uh, being judged at a cosplay contest. Really cool. Um, it's really weird having somebody painstakingly pick over all my crap and ask me exactly how I did everything. Not for the purpose of emulation, but for the purpose of making sure that I actually know what I'm doing. It's kind of scary. Also, it's kind of um, humbling to have people that have been doing this longer than me look at you and say things like, your phone work is really clean, your seams are really well hidden, and for me to go, but I fucking hate everything, why are you saying nice things about me? I, I met Punish Pops. <laughs> um, I can't hide that smile. <laughs> Um, Bill, Bill, Doran, Bill Doran is like one of the coolest guys ever. He's so... He sounds exactly like he does in his YouTube videos, which is weird to me because I, I know how I sound in real life and I know how I sound electronically and it ages me. But he's like... Like crystal clear perfect. And I got real, actual, genuine, like, feedback on my stuff. Uh, which was really nice. Um, layer layers, lots of layers, make sure you're going deeper into your character, and if you do, be consistent, so whether my undersuit is one of those things I have to do now. It, it, it's kind of scary, because you have three people kind of like pouring over your stuff, meticulously picking your gear apart, asking you how you did every little thing, like, uh, the, the bolts on my Master Chief helmet aren't actually bolts, because I couldn't find socket cap bolts, because I didn't know what they were, and making sure that everything has a texture to it, or at least some kind of patterning or something, like, no flat blacks, because 
flat black is. I, I, I explained this in my, my streams. Flat black is not a color that exists in real life. It's not a thing you can do. Like, you can have it on costumes, but that doesn't exist in the real world. As soon as you take something flat black outside, even once, and it gets a little tiny bit of dirt on it, it's not flat black anymore, ever. What would you give for advice to for people that are, like, nervous it's for competing? Because you weren't nervous at all. <laughs> you jerk why you didn't jump down, back down to novice, you wuss. I didn't want to jump back down. I was, I was committed yes, to... Yes, you did. At first, but I was committed to where I was once the, like, I got here. It's like, I'm stuck in journeyman. This is what I have to do. If, if I'm not good enough, I'm not good enough. Know how you did everything. They're gonna ask you questions about how did you build this? Is this bought? Was this made? Uh, did you stitch this? How did you do this? And it's gonna be quick, so stay on your toes uh, and just know your suit. Be concise and to the point. Don't like ramble on and on like, well, I used foam, it's this kind of foam. It's like, I use an Eva foam for this. I cut it utilizing exacto knives and I stuck everything together with contacts. When we're judging, we know what, we, you know, we know what you mean when you say most things, right? Like, you know, you say barge, you say 6,000, you say you put this with gesso or bondo or rondo or XC's like, we do know most of those materials. And if there's something we're not sure of, we'll just be like, oh, what's that? Or like, what do you mean by that? So it's, you know, it's not that you're explaining your costume to people that don't know what you're talking about. You're explaining to, you know, like, oh yeah, I used, you know, I used this stitch or I did it that like, we know that stuff by and large, or at least someone on the panel will know. Yeah, like one of the big things I was asked is, did you slush cast your helmet yourself? And I said, well, it started life as a Pepecura file, and they know what that meant. They, they won't ask you stupid questions, but you, yeah, you have to make yourself the vast majority of your outfit. So it's not, um, oh. it's, it's not something you can like store by and pass <laughs> Excuse me, I just need to sorry, but when we're judging and we're judging with someone that's a professional leather worker, you know, we kind of know that we don't have to really, like, you know, we don't need to ask a lot of the leather questions because, hey, you know, Aaron Harrison's going to know this stuff and we're going to trust his expertise. It's like, there we go. Oh, you use the right leather for this. Perfect. I will believe you because you obviously know that, right? So if you had someone that was nervous and like wanted, was thinking about competing, but then kept waffling and like, I don't know, yes, no, yes, no, how what, what would your advice be? If you built your stuff and you know how you did it, and it's fun, it's shockingly fun. I got to, to tromp around on stage a little bit, mostly slow walk across the stage, and then throw my battle rifle on the ground, which was surprisingly satisfying. The judges want to see, it's like everybody else in the cosmic community, they want to see you succeed. They want you to do your best, no matter what. So, they will talk to you like you're a person, they will talk to you like you're exactly one of them. Everyone has their skill sets, everyone has their, their abilities, everyone's as good as everyone else to an extent. So they, they want to see you do the best that you can do. And if you ask for critiques, like constructive criticism, they'll give it to you. They won't crap on you like a lot of other people do like oh well it's garbage it's like why is it garbage it's because it's garbage it's like probably gonna also ask this guy for help yay because he knows more about fabric and leather work and other things than I do and I, I have no idea what I'm doing I'm gonna also rely on the cosplay community at large because everyone else out there likes to help too right rehearse a little bit Make sure you have kind of something going on. So all I do is just walk across the stage, throw my rifle on the ground, and dramatically draw my magnum and point it at me. Oh, roughly, roughly this roughly, Chef Ramsley. Roughly. It looks like it's at you, but honestly, I was aiming more to your, uh, it would be your right. Oh, uh-huh, yeah. My left. But like, in the end, everyone believed that I was pointing it at Ramsey, which kind of sold it a little bit, I think. It's like, ah, oh, yes, point the pistol at the jerk. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> so, Lane, being a judge of the cosplay contest here with the multiple divisions as a judge, what are your tips and tricks? Well, I guess you already did that with Bronson. <laughs> yeah, that, that answers your question, Mike. Perfect. Maybe, maybe if you would, you know, subscribe and watch a goddamn video, then, you know, you'll be fine. But, you know. I do watch your videos, jerk face. Yeah, uh -huh, really? So, it's been a few hours. We stopped the McBride, but hey. That was another thing. Yeah, there's Oh my god. Up. Look what's coming towards us. We're almost oh at Alberta. Oh my god! Oh my god! Wait, that means we time change soon. We do time change soon. Can we pull over for a quick second? Yeah, sure. Why not? 
time's online. Now I'm in the future. Now I'm in the past. Now I'm in the future. Now I'm in the past. The future. The past. The future. The past. The future. The past. The future, the past. <laughs> Sir, here in the past we had have do not tolerate that kind of crap. Uh, we have the past. I'm just wondering. He hasn't actually got a pass for his car. Do you guys have them here? Or does he have to order them online? Could I grab one for him? Same thing. Thanks a lot, man. Oh right, my god! I got my thing! I got my Parks Canada thing! Dude, pull oh, those! That was he's, nice! He's very tall. Man, good, good on you, Parks Canada. Look at that! I got my thing! So if you guys don't know, if you're watching this now, you're watching this way too late, but it's just becoming summertime, so get out there. Uh, Parks Canada, if you get one of these things again from the gates, it's free all f***ing year because of Canada turning 150. So get out there, explore, see nature, camp. I do want to go to a photo shoot in Banff and Jasper and all over the place, actually, so. i take my Master Chief out there. Right, I would take my... I would Master Chief myself all across this country. You can master whatever you want. <laughs> if you want to do a big thing in Banff for something, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps this channel out. I made a mess. Oh, thanks. Sure. Now you can't use my Tinder name. No, I have to. It's for making fun of Americans. No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> no, Americans. Just think about it. Nope. No. Slytherin will punch you in the balls. <laughs> Hello, my American friends. This is a Kinder Surprise Egg. Something you can't have. So I will, you know, make sure that I open it so you can enjoy it. He's going to inspect it for me personally. The fine leaf folded over aluminum foil splits delicately to expose its chocolatey shell. Whoops, that went on the floor, that's all right. This one has already prepared itself slightly for me to enter it as I gently nestle out the cream egg. Let me hit that while you pop that. I will let him hit that while I pop that. Some no. of its in innards have gone on to this thing, mm. and I will give the other half of the exquisite chocolate to my camera person. So There's good. There's even these little things that I will just rip off yes. and eat myself. Yes. Mm. No. Oh. And they've changed these. These used to just be two separate slots. Now there's a little hinge as we squeeze it open to release the inner toy. It's probably really disappointing. A little monkey. No, I see. Neat. And a larger monkey. Sweet. I'm assuming these things go together. Flip it around. Yeah. Perfect. The monkeys don't 69. These monkeys have now begun their mating. There's also instructions. For my two crappy little monkeys? Yes. Um, this is just some warning. In every language but English, by the looks of it. Oh no, there it is. English. And instructions on how to do your monkey. There are little stickers. No, these are stands. Well, they have some kind of palm frog. Some kind of them. palm thing. Um, this says pantroglodytes, <laughs> which I'm not sure why, but it does say that. Do I do I put them in the in a pan? Do I like slowly yes, camp? It's, it's how you cook troglodytes. Um, like, do I or do I wipe the camera slowly across them in a pan? There's a there's a magic Kinder app. I'll hold this QR up so you can use this on your screen to get your own. There you in go. In case you miss out on it. That's one way we can get it across the border. But we're like, smuggling apps now. That's yes, a thing we're, we're doing. smuggling QR codes. So, Americans, you're missing out on 69ing possibly incestuous monkeys. What a culture we have up here in Canada. Eh? <laughs> Off on the run. Straight towards the rising sun. Get it straight because we're on the uh, prairies and I like women. Uh, 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 uh. The scenery's gotten crazy boring. Um, yeah, Alberta. Great. All right, so it was a eight and a half hour drive back to Edmonton from Prince George for Northern FanCon. Um, they had like some landslide, so it kind of slowed things down. But anyways, I'm all home now, back in super warm Edmonton, and I actually got to bring a souvenir back with me. It's kind of neat. I got to take back my sign, which is almost like, I, I think the me in there is bigger, but I actually have a nice sign now, which is pretty sweet. And that's not the only souvenir that I got. Um, in addition to my sign, <laughs> I also grabbed Bill Duran and Punish Props. I figure you're not gonna miss it. And it was just kind of there. So 
So thanks, Bill. <laughs>